Welcome back to our second segment of our holiday cooking demonstration. For our next um, course, we're going to be doing a apple stuffed pork loin. It's going to be a roast and we're going to serve it on a bed of roasted Brussels sprouts. So for our first, we're going to get our butter. We've got our pan heating up again. About a quarter stick of butter for this. With that, we are going to add our celery and onions, diced. And just like before, we're going to cook those till they're translucent. Um, we are also going to incorporate uh, apricots. Uh, we have some dried cranberries, some fresh sage, um, some uh, apricot preserves or, or more orange marmalade. Um, we have our uh, Dijon mustard, so that goes into the wet ingredients for our stuffing. And then we made, uh, you know, your basic cornbread recipe. Uh, we diced that up and just kind of let that sit overnight again to kind of dry out because it's hopefully going to absorb all these wet uh, ingredients here to give it all the flavor. And again, too, we have some chicken stock too that we're going to add um, in case just for the you know consistency of the stuffing. So let's see how this is doing. Almost there with the onions and the celery. So we're going to actually add our dried fruit. So this gives the stuffing, you know, nice sweetness and also a really nice color. So when you cut into that pork roast, you see, you know, kind of the autumn fall uh, color kind of foliage representing, and then also with the, you know, the seasonal apples too to kind of make it that fall autumn going into the into the winter holidays. So um, we're also going to add some garlic. Salt and pepper. And again, this is a nice quick recipe for the holidays that you can have a company come over and you can do it in the comfort of your own home. Um, you know, with the, uh, the smells going around this room right now, it'll definitely get people hungry and ready for their, their next course. So here we are, we uh, actually have the vegetables and the dried fruit nice and rendered down. So if you look, you can see the colors of that and what it's gonna look like in the stuffing. So I'm gonna bring that back to the heat, probably turn it down just a little bit. And at this point, we are going to add a little bit of the sage. And we are going to add a little Dijon mustard. And we're going to um, use half of this um, because we're actually going to mix it with a little Dijon for the glaze for the pork um, before, after we get it all stuffed and tied. So we're going to use a, about half of this. Oops. really get those smells right now going. And we're gonna deglaze it with a little white wine. So we're gonna let that reduce a little bit, um, just kinda of kill off the alcohol, or burn off some of the alcohol in the white wine so it doesn't get too whiny and pungent. But as you can see, you know, that's basically, um, you know, our wet ingredients that we're going to want to add the cornbread to. So this is your basic cornbread recipe. Nothing fancy to it. We didn't add any sweetener because all the flavors from, you know, the wet ingredients are going to go into that with the apricot preserves. Um, so we let it sit out overnight. The drier the better because it will really absorb all those flavors.
and here, I actually do it right over here so you can see. So we do have some stock um, on the side that we can actually add to make it to the right uh, texture that you're looking for to stuff the pork. But you want something that's nothing, that's not too loose, um, enough that can kind of form together. Um, but you also want to keep some of the integrity of the cubes of the cornbread. So as we mix this together, you can see the cornbread, you know, is absorbing all the uh, wet ingredients. We're just going to toast this up a little bit on the stove. Add a little bit of our vegetable stock. And then so we're going to add our apples now to make it the apple stuffing. That's important for an apple stuffed pork. Um, so we're just going to add, uh, I did about uh, two cups for this recipe. Um, and with this, with the dried cranberries, it gives it that autumn feel and, you know, very seasonal for this time. Oops. Throwing an apple there. So here you go, that has the apples and the cranberries and the, the cornbread. Um, as it sits for a while, it will keep on absorbing uh, some of that uh, liquid, but the, the more you stir, the more broken up it's gonna get, especially with the apples, and that's kind of why we added that at the last minute. So that's so why we're gonna let that rest for a little bit. We're gonna move on to start butterflying our uh, pork roast. Welcome back, and here we are with our roast pork. Um, this is a you know Iowa farm pork. Um, uh, white marble pork. Uh, it has a bone in uh, and we are going to well, butterfly it so we can uh, put our stuffing in there for our, to start our roast pork. So uh, what I did prior, I actually went through and I took the pork and cut along the bone here. So it's, a, it's just a quick you know tutorial on how I butterflied it. Um, we went across the bone but left some meat on this side and then I would go over on the, the opposite side to kind of fold this over. Then I was able to take a meat tenderizer and be able to cut, you know, uh, to be able to pound down to kind of flatten that out. Um, trying to keep the equal distance of meat on all sides of the pork so it cooks nice and evenly. And over here on the bone, after I do stuff it, I'm going to make a little notches in here so when I wrap it with the, the butcher's twine, it will be able to kind of tightly grasp onto there. So what I'm going to do is just kind of make some incisions here, just enough. So the butcher's twine can kind of grab on there. So that's that. Um, now I'm going to grab the stuffing. We've uh, letting it cool down. Uh, you know, normally you'd want to cool that down all the way before you stuffed a pork if it was going to sit. Uh, we were cooling it down for pretty much, um, you know, about 15, 20 minutes just when we put it in there and then it's going to go directly in the oven. So let me grab that. So as you see, our, our stuffing's here. It's a nice color. Um, you know, we kind of kept the integrity of a lot of the stuffing, and um, it, nice, beautiful color. It has a lot of contrast in, in the flavors. The apps, apples are still um, kind of together in there. So now we just start stuffing. So I want to kind of get into the, the cavity down here. Nice and full. You know, there will be some that kind of, as it cooks, falls out the end. Um, and then whatever extra stuff you could have, you can reheat, um, you know, to make sure it gets up to temp. And then you're able to, you know, utilize that if somebody just wants a side of stuffing. So the stuffing over here. 
And over here we just got our, you know, our butcher's twine. Oops. So we're gonna fold this over. And we're gonna tie this off. So now with this right here, make sure it's nice and tight. It's going to kind of draw it in. And we're going right in between the bones that I made that little incision. off right here just enough so when it does cook it's going to keep that stuffing in there as so we flip that over got our nice tied kind of adjust that there and then with this, we're gonna just season it with a salt, pepper, and oil, uh, a little olive oil. And that is ready for our roasting pan. So we have our oven uh, preset to uh, 400 and we're going to cook that for about 45 minutes and after that we're going to take it out and I mix the Dijon and the apricot glaze to, or, uh, preserve together and that's going to make a nice glaze for the top of it. Uh, it's been about an hour and we've had our roast in the oven. At 45 minutes we took it out and we did our glaze with our Dijon and apricot preserves and uh, we put it on for another 15-20 more minutes. Uh, it's, you want to make sure that the internal temp reaches 145 degrees and so here is the finished product. Yeah. Now here's something you should be proud of to be able to serve to your family and friends during the holidays. And I'd like to thank you for uh, watching me do the, the first course, the uh, curried soup, pumpkin soup, and you know our main course, which is the apple stuffed pork loin. And stay tuned, Chelsea Megan will be with us to show you how she does our Chester Village signature harvest cake.